So two days into practice. Yes, sir. How are the receivers looking to you? We're good. We're good. We're thin, but uh, I tell you what, it's like night and day from a couple springs ago. What's uh, Malone like compared to the start of last spring? His effort, his intensity in practice. I think Josh team? just just he knows the expectations now, so he's able to correct uh, himself when he knows he made a mistake and come over and say, "Hey, did you see that release? I should have did this. I should have did that." So. No, he's uh, he's had a good first couple days. You know, he's been up and down, but that's to be expected. He's, we're knocking the rust off, but he's I've been pleased so far with the, his uh, his development. He's got a few injured guys back: Josh Smith, Marquez, Cody Blank. How are they looking? How are they recovering? Well, we've we've kind of kept Marquez, you know, out of things just from a contact standpoint. I just you know uh, those things. He's just kind of uh, out there doing some individual routes on air. Things where I don't. I need him to get banged up right now. So we're, we're, we're pretty thin, but we do have Smith back and we do have Cody back. And they're, they're knocking the conditioning rust off too. And, and they're sore in their, in their areas where they got injured. We just gotta push through that. But it's nice to have them back because they, they weren't getting any better sitting on the bench. You briefly touched on this, but what are like the toughest elements to overcome once you've been injured and off the field so long? Like what's the most difficult part on getting back on the field? Just football shape, number one. I don't know if you guys are out there, we practice extremely fast. We're faster now than we've ever been. Um, so it's football shape. And just, you know, you, it's, it's one thing to watch film and know all the techniques, another thing to rep it over and over and over. So just, oh yeah, coach, that's right, I need to, it's things like that. So there's not really one thing, it's kind of a host of things. So Josh is fighting through that right now, Smith. He, he really is. What has it been like only having one quarterback experienced? Uh, you know, yeah. throw into your guys because it seemed like you got a little agitated on Tuesday that practice wasn't quite moving as fast as you wanted yeah. it to. Yeah, it, it, yeah, the, the pat and go, I remember that. Um, again, they just got to get caught up to our standards. And they're both, I'll tell you what, they, I thought they both had a really good day today out there. We go so fast and all the things we threw at those two kids, they're, they're, they're doing pretty well. It'll be interesting when we get the pads on Saturday and things are kind of flying a little different. But uh, yeah, they're they're learning the expectations just like everybody. But yeah, we gotta we can't go down. We gotta keep going up. So that, the, the standards don't don't change. And early on, what have you seen from Pig Howard? He seems like he really took a leadership role last season, and he's looking even faster than what he was yeah. last season. Yeah. Well, that's 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 what happens when you uh, when you completely start buying in and take care of yourself and live in the film room. And he's a, he's night and day different from when I got here. It's like a, it's a whole different guy. The guy I got here, I don't know where he is, but. Keep him away. I like this new guy, and he's been nothing but great. And uh, the sky's the limit for him. I mean, he's so talented, and he's he's being a good leader because he feels comfortable. He knows what to expect out there, so he's doing well. Not going well. What about for you? You have the new title, of passing game coordinator. Mm -hmm. Is practice any different for you? Is the week just how how has that changed your job? I guess. Yeah, your practice here might be a little bit different, but I've been a coordinator in the past. I've been a passing game coordinator. I've been an offensive coordinator. So having some added responsibilities on the field is just kind of like riding a bike for me. You know, pass Kelly seven on seven routes on air, all those things that that uh, that I take charge of now is uh, I've done before. So it's just kind of we just kind of roll, keep going. Nothing really changes that much. What are some things that are different with uh, what Coach DeBoer to the offense compared to what you have with the Jays? You know what? Just just from a, um, a position standpoint, Coach DeBoer is so well versed in offensive line play, tight end play, running back play, those things, and it's been it's been good for me. Even when I was a coordinator, I had to get involved in that. But I'm still a skill guy. You know, I don't know all the intricacies of maybe steps and things on certain. And I always want to learn protections, and it's been neat having all of us as a staff talk through those things from you know, a, a new voice right. in that regard. So it's been neat and it's been nothing but positive. He's been great. It's been a seamless transition and we're really excited to have him. Did you know him at all? Yeah, I did. I played at Central Michigan. He was a head coach there after I played, but that's how I had met him before. So, yep, I had met him uh, before. I, I went and listened to him a bunch when I was a young coach um, at different uh, clinics, listening to him on the run game and things like that. So yeah, we've met before. Is there anything about being a recruiting coordinator that you won't miss? <laughs> Uh, junior days and, and all those kind where we're running around making sure the logistics are fine and we'll dump that on Coach Gillespie now. No, you know, we all pitch in and help anyway. And again, we got such a big recruiting staff that, you know, it's a great title, but there are some little things that kind of irritate you that you got to make sure you get right. But no, it's it's been an easy, easy fix. Second, I'm sure you've already been asked, but getting yeah. 
Josh Smith back out there, Marquez. What have you seen from, from those guys who, who are out at the end of the season getting them back out there? Well, Marquez has been just doing some individual and, and, and uh, routes on air and things. He hasn't been doing any team stuff. I just don't need him to get hit yet. He's just not fully right there yet. So he hasn't been in there in those situations. Josh has. He's done everything. Um, knocking the rust off. He, I'd lie to you if I said he's a finished product right now. He's got a long way to go. Got a lot of technique issues. He has not picked up where he left off from Oklahoma, uh, but I expect him to. He just needs more practice. But, uh, John Johnson looks like he, you know he was banged up, obviously, about the end of last year too, and kind of fought through it. And it looks like he maybe. I love Jonathan Johnson. He's a he's a heck of a football player. Uh, he he is he is. When people come out there, they always go, "My God, who's who's 81?" They, it, he always gets overlooked. Maybe that's because he's can walk under this table, but. He, uh, he's, he's been awesome. Being a senior, just he knows what to do now. He's, just, he's everything I'm looking for, uh, except for he's not 6'5". <laughs> but he's, he's tough, he's a great leader. Um, he, he knows the whole offense inside and out, so he's been nothing but great. He's getting better too. During the offseason, just who stood out in terms of just leadership, work ethic, that type of thing from? Who stood out? Yeah. Just in general just in the wideouts? Just a, uh, uh, yeah, your group. You know what? I have three seniors. I don't think I have a, a, a Ray Lewis, if you would, in that group. I got three guys that, as one, need to be a good leader. Uh, Pig's not a real outgoing guy. Neither is Jonathan, uh, and neither is Vaughn. But together, they're pretty good. They can kind of feed off each other. And that's a work in progress. That's my job as a coach, to keep developing them as leaders. But Pig's done a nice job just from a, a I hate to use the word example standpoint, just because he's just doing his job. But he does it really well, and they kind of follow him. Two more. Will Marquez get back physically this spring, or is he going to be kind of limited the whole time? You know time? what? I don't know. Whenever they give me the thumbs up to put him in on contact situations, we'll get him in there and go. Um, I'll be honest with you, though, I, I, they're, they're, I might not roll the dice. I want him to be healed. I don't need a short-term fix. I need him to be 100% and feel, feel great, and I don't need to see him go out there and get smoked across the middle and here we go again. I mean, it'd be nice to have him in the fall. So. He can get better. He's out there at practice. He's doing a lot of things to get himself better. He's just not going to get tackled and blocking right now. That would be about the only difference. Do you have any timetable on Jason on what he's going to return? I don't. I don't. Uh, he's ahead of schedule right now. That's all I know. Um, but I don't. they have not given me a timetable yet. I mean, obviously, we expect him for the fall. But as far as when he's able to start running full speed and being with me, I, they haven't told me yet. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks.